Welcome everybody, I'm Fabio Viviani and you're watching Fabio's Kitchen where every week we'll bring you an amazing dish made by me. What we are doing, we are using red wine as a cooking liquid for our drunken spaghetti. And I was talking really slow because you have to really listen carefully. We are cooking the pasta in red wine. Now, if I lost my mind because I'm not drinking this and I'm wasting wine in water, yes or no, my brother-in-law is an idiot and he made a mistake. He opened a bottle of wine and didn't finish it. Who does that? Nobody. Why am I so loud? Because I'm angry about it. Because anytime you open a bottle of wine, you have to finish it. But in this case, we didn't. So we wasted a good bottle of wine. But there is something that we can do to salvage that. It's to pour this in water for our drunken spaghetti. Shall we do that? Oh my God, I feel so bad about it. <sighs> I'm getting like hives right now. Wine is meant to be drunk, not cooked pasta. With. This is the last resort if you really don't want to throw it away. Um, I'm leaving a little bit of wine in the bottle. I'll tell you later why, but just stick with me for it. Oh God, look, it's like wine. It's really like 80% wine, 20% water there. Now, I gotta say something. While I feel terrible, that a bottle of wine was open and not finished because there is no such a thing like wine left over in Italy. This is, though, a very pretty way to embellish any plate of pasta. The wine not only injects the pasta with a wonderful ruby color, but also the flavor of the wine will be there. And your pasta will be like, whoa, what is that, purple spaghetti? I mean, literally, it looks fantastic for a date night, for a night that you're not dating anyone and you want to double down on the wine in the glass and in the pasta because you're really sad because you're not dating anyone, for impressing somebody, for not impressing somebody and just be look awesome or your next Instagram post, I don't care. Drunken spaghetti is a very good way to look like a superstar in the kitchen. It's a trick. And look, let, let's be realistic here. If you buy my wine, don't toss this in the water. Buy a crappy bottle of red wine, which the alcohol will evaporate anyway, and color, tint your pasta with it while you're drinking my wine. In this case, my brother-in-law didn't finish it. I had it here. I had to use it. I'm not gonna throw away wine. I refuse to do that. Ingredients. Pancetta, Italian currency. This is literally you can go to a bank and, and do an ATM and get like 20 slices of pancetta out of it. That's how common this is in Italy. Pancetta is the Italian god of uh, flavoring agent. Think about bacon taking a trip to vacation in Italy and becoming awesome all of a sudden. Why there is pancetta on my counter? Probably fell to when I tilt the thing. It doesn't matter. So I'm gonna have a light brown on the butter. And here's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add pancetta to it. Literally, butter, brown butter and pancetta. I feel like I wanna walk away already. What not to love about it, all right? Now, once this is nice and rendered, we're gonna add some walnuts to it. Good crunch, good flavor, very nutty. And then we're gonna finish it for creaminess with ricotta cheese. Are you picturing these yourself? Red of the spaghetti, the crunch of the walnuts, the deliciousness of the pancetta, and the white creaminess of the ricotta. Amazing. Now, I want to do something. There is nickel, there is dimes, and there is quarters. You know the coins? Nickel, dime, and quarters. See, here's what's happening when you're measuring spaghetti. If you get spaghetti, and you get enough, like, like the size of a dime, this is the smallest portion of spaghetti, of spaghetti you can have. This is like, this is like kids spaghetti. Like a very small portion of a baby, like a one month old should eat this amount of spaghetti. In Italy they do. Then if you grab spaghetti enough 
to make up for the size of a nickel, that's like a, that's like a half portion of spaghetti. That's literally half portion of the spaghetti. Then, if you go up to a quarter, that's an adult portion of spaghetti, all right? Quarter, nickels and dimes. That's how we do it, right? Now, if you're me, you gotta get enough spaghetti to make up for what a hundred dollar bill would have looked like if it was a coin. And that's all spaghetti I eat. Then, we fan them like this, and we throw them in water. Wine, in this case, of course. Now let me cover it. These will go down. The pancetta has rendered. See all the fat there? Fat is flavor, walnuts. I'm gonna caramelize my walnuts in the pancetta fat with butter. Delicious! So now, remember I told you to leave about a finger and a half of wine, right? This wine, it's still good to deglaze your pan and, and just flavor even more your pasta because the alcohol will be evaporated by the time we're done with the dish. Then we have ricotta cheese and we have some grana padano. You want to toast your walnut but you don't want to burn them. So you really have to watch your nuts in this case. Because you know, we all know, especially boys out there, it's all fun and game until someone loses a nut. All right. So pancetta is caramelized. Our spaghetti is nice and drunk. Look what beautiful color they have now. All right, so the spaghettis are there. Now I'm gonna cook the spaghetti in the fat. Look how delicious this dish is. I'm gonna finish to the glaze with the wine left. By letting this sit in the pancetta fat with the walnuts flavor in it and adding the last bit of red wine, we are really infusing an incredible amount of flavor in our spaghetti. And please, make sure that you always drink responsibly. The drunken spaghetti is the only drunk things that we want to deal with. A glass of wine is good for you. A bottle of wine might be too, definitely too much. All right, now it's the party. Look at this, ricotta cheese. Now, look at this. Now it's a party. Everybody's gonna have a good time drinking. Make sure you're not driving. Look at that. Look how delicious this dish look. Seriously. Drunken spaghetti. The wine colored the pasta, the flavor is there. Basic ingredient like pancetta and walnuts could be really elevated thanks to this dish. And then, we don't really have a sauce, but the ricotta compensates the creaminess that is missing from an actual sauce in it. All the ingredients then come together with the last final kick of a little Grana Padano cheese. Drunken spaghetti, everybody! I got no more wine to celebrate now. Damn. You're watching Fabio's Kitchen. Yeah.